the rocking chair. And for this, I really encourage you to have plenty of pillow at first. Okay, we're not trying to tighten up the neck and tire out the neck with these movements. Posture is really just the hidden tension equilibrium. It's the baseline. It's the root holdings. That's what your brain says is normal. It doesn't realize that it can let you relax out of posture. It's just a folly to impose false posture upon true posture. False posture is, oh, I'm going to stand up straight. I'm not going to give in to that hunch. But that's just adding more tension to the system. What we really want to do is we want to relax out of the root holdings of our posture. Some people end up having sort of, it's called a kyphotic posture where the upper spine sort of curves and the neck and the head sort of come forward. That pattern is so much stress on the neck that as the spine curves forward at the upper ribs, the neck sort of comes out of the body at an angle and it makes it really hard for the neck has to work hard to save the day. Those muscles are being called to pull the neck and bend to keep that head balanced on top. It's a heavy head up there. So here we are. We're doing the lower half of the rocking chair. The lower half, uh, feel your feet on the mat and feel your arms on the mat. Maybe the wrists are on the mat. And if you start to push your elbows down a little bit, just push the elbows down a little bit and feel maybe a tightening and a hardening in the back of the, back of the shoulders, okay? Now add to that, both feet evenly start to push down into the mat. Back of uh, your hamstring area tightens up. And we're just, if you had like a pizza or a pie resting on uh, your, right on top of your belt buckle, we're just trying to push that up to the sky. So I'm pushing my, feet down behind me. I'm getting a little help with uh, my elbows so my legs don't have to do all of it. Not crampy, not straining. We're just lifting up a little bit and we're lowering down out of that. Okay. Lower down out of that. I have a whole video on a really interesting, I find it interesting, a glute bridge adaptation to make that a relax of your back and your glutes. We're just lowering slowly. Okay. And one more time, let's go literally like half that effort, maybe a quarter of that effort. Can you control and not let your system rush you into it? So we're just pushing feet down and wrists down. And we're, just, we're just lifting up like if someone was going to maybe slide a, a loaf of banana bread under your belt line. That could be good. And uh, we're lowering down out of that. Okay, this is the Hungry Rocking Chair episode. We're just lowering down easy out of that. Easy, easy. The descent, less and less effort. Really take your time. Come back to relax. Lower half, okay? Upper half. It's like elbows to the sky, or uh, that's my version of a classic movement uh, of somatics, arch and curl. So here, we're just, uh, elbows come up maybe, and the hands and forearms and elbows, they, they lift the heavy head. The head is being lifted off the, off the mat. And I'm pushing my elbows up a little bit up toward the, the sky above my knees. Okay? And really, have the head pushed back into the hands. It's gentle on the neck. It's the, it's the front of the chest that closes. And how does the front of the chest open? Easy, easy, easy. Could you dare to take the gentlest breath into that opening place in the front of the body? How high up does the breath come? Breathing cycles and easy opening. Okay. Let's just do that again. Elbows to the sky. Let's go really gently. And notice this time, where, do you, where does your back push most intensely down into the mat? Where does that curve that you're creating, you're curving the upper spine, where, where does it like to push back behind you? Okay, that's the question. So here we are, the gentle breath in on the exhale. The exhale is just helping us close the front and the hands and elbows lift the heavy head. And, and I'm, I'm just moving my body to sort of feel a little bit small. And where does my back push behind me, my upper back? Okay, lower down out of that. Easy, easy, easy. One vertebrae at a time. 
How does the front open up? The low back, don't let the low back lift up. Do the front open out over the back. Opening easy, head is setting down, elbows are opening. Okay, so now we're gonna put those two together, the, the lower half, the glute bridge, so to say, and the upper half, the elbows to the sky, or the arch and curl equivalent. So here's how we're gonna do it. Uh, gentle breath in, just lift the head a little bit. Keep coming up until you feel like there's a curve in that upper rib spine, okay? Now, start to add that glute bridge. Can you lift up and sort of find that you're like a rocking chair? It's a rocker on the floor. And the hands are holding the head. Could you find where is the, the center of the rocker? Where does it most like to push down directly into the floor? Okay, here's the challenge. Can lower half and upper half open. Can you open away from that center place that was the, the peak contraction of the rocking chair rocker? Yeah, that, 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 that. Now, it might be up high for you. Then you'd be lifting the hips a little bit more and the head not so much. It might be down low for you in the, in the mid ribs and maybe, uh, we're going to just change the ratio. So let's look at it as we come up. We're just coming on up a little bit. Head lifts a little bit. The hips lift a little bit. And come into that rocker. Make it a really nice, nice, just a continuous curve. And where does your back most like to push into the mat right now? For me, it's pretty low today. And okay. Where's that place? The epicenter, it's so strong it could hold it all day. Could we lower out of that? Focus in there, look in there. Is there, can you see what, how does it move apart? How does that place open? Where does the slack come from for that place to open? Can the breath come in right there? Exactly. So here, let's try that again. So gentle breath in, we're gonna think, um, we're gonna simulate like, let's say it's this upper, let's say the curve is most intense right at the upper ribs. That's where most people have it, okay? So the gentle breath in, and it's, the, it's, the it's caused by the tensions of worry and disappointment and depression and despair and grief and all those things that we, we, we need to feel that sometimes. That's part of life, but I'm not saying don't feel that. I'm saying we don't want to be stuck in the tension habit that keeps us feeling it way past when we need it, okay? So here we go. Uh, I'm closing up in a way. I'm just sort of pulling my, I'm lifting my head to bring my chin to my chest. Okay. And now I'm coming up. I'm lifting the rocker. And I want to find that center of the rocking chair right between my shoulders. Can you balance on that? Okay, great. Well, how do you let go of that? Maybe little steps. Little steps start lowering. We're going to pause in a minute. Pause. And close back up into it. Push just that part, the, just the set that the point of the rocker that touches the floor. Push that into the mat, and again lower little steps, little steps, little steps, little steps. Opening the back, touching down gently, breathing into that place that needed to learn how to open. Where is that? Where do you breathe into the upper chest? to reward your brain. It's a reward for it to have breathing space. When, we're, when it's closed, when that curve is closed, it's, hard, it, it, it's given up on breathing there. That's too tight, it's too persistent right there. We're closing on up, we're finding the rocker, we're balancing at that point. Could I breathe into that place with this amplification of the opening with gravity? Breathe it open in a beautiful way. The rocking chair, okay? We're gonna do one more. Now, if you're crushing it, if, if you're really putting too much effort and there's a quiver, that's too much effort. Fi have it be an effort level where you're just at the edge of effort and ease. Where ride that line, don't let it run away with you and make it just right. We're trying to find the place that is so, is, is your brain's so used to it being in tension that it really can't sense it very well. We're trying to 
cross over the threshold where the brain says, yeah, I know that place is real now. I can feel the tension there. You're filling in the map that your brain has of your body. So here we go. The gentle breath in. Maybe glutes, maybe hips come up first a little bit. And we're just going to lift the head until the, the, the chin comes toward the chest. And I'm going to find that rocker. I'm going to find that right there. That's the, cur- that's the center of the arc of the spine. And I'm opening out of that. Could you take a long breath in? Yeah, that. There, there you go. Always use plenty of pillow in these movements, not into any strain or not into any discomfort. If you're getting a headache from these movements, you're probably using the neck a lot, way too much. The head is heavy in the hands. Try some of these movements where it's almost, almost, you would think it's not enough effort. It wouldn't work with that little effort. I'm just lift, barely lifting the head up. I'm barely lifting the hips up. I'm going to find that center, that rocker, what place is pushing most into the body, into the floor. Sometimes I feel that one side of my back is pushing into the floor more. I'll and say, okay, now that, how do I open out of that? What place has to open out of that? Okay, you can look at the asymmetry. It's a, you, you can run with this. You know, you make it your own. That's what I did with somatics. I made it my own, and in my obsession, I changed it a lot, and I saw problems that it had, and I'm trying to bring it to you. I would be very grateful to hear comments to see if you found this helpful. Let me know what you learned and what you discovered. How did you, how, did, how was it, as you went about your day after this movement, the rocking chair, what's different? What's different not being in that hunched posture. So I'm Eric Cooper, inspiresomatics.com. Blessings on your journey. Have a beautiful day.